What is going on, guys? We're back with another rebuild, and I know a lot of you guys will hate it. Some of you may even like it, mate. May even like it. <laughs> you might even like it. We're actually going to do a realistic rebuild, and I know um, it's not the most well-received thing, and it's uh, very uh, controversial. Controversial? But, of course, um, we are going to try it, and I honestly didn't even know that they signed Paul Kruger. Uh, I'm really out of my league. So, uh, of course, what we're going to be doing is rebuilding this team the most realistically we can, which is with minimal trades, especially minimal blockbuster trades, mostly through the draft, but also through free agency, um, offering decently realistic deal. Oh, my God. I know we got some youth, but Jesus, we need some, we need some wide receivers. Um, why is Sneed? Oh, okay. Willie, I didn't know Willie Sneed was number four. I didn't know he was the fourth. Um, we have, like, the best left tackle in the league almost. Um, Paul Kruger. So we have a pretty decent squad. We have Sheldon Rankins, who I think I might even put up to number one. Uh, that would be a decent decision. McFarley's not bad, but uh, I kind of feel like Rankins, from what I've seen, can be better. And uh, he has got a lot more upside with that youth. Um, James Laurinaitis, I know they just got him, but I don't see the reason to have him. I might just have him as a backup. We definitely need to work on that. Cornerback, basically defense in general. But the thing is, we have Drew Brees. And when you have Drew Brees, no one can stop you. So uh, that's always nice. And we also have a decent draft pick. Hopefully that actually projects the way it does. Um, of course, I have some releases to make here. That sounds so gross. Uh, John Kuhn, how you doing, pal? But uh, I'll be back in a sec. And uh, here we have Carlos Williams in the free agency. So we are going to sign him. And we're going to try to get rid of Spiller. I believe um, Spiller's contract's a little expensive. He's pretty young. What about Nate Irvin? I believe he was on the Colts. And he's pretty solid. So we're going to get Nate Irvin. I think that'll pretty much round off our roster. They want to give us. So the Chiefs will give us a 4 and a 5. I'll take it. Of course, now we have an extra. Two extra fourth rounds and a fifth. Of course, that was the AI. I didn't even put him on the block. I think we're doing pretty well so far. So of course, here we trade a guy that I really didn't want to get rid of. We have a decent bit of defensive tackles, but the Packers actually had Treader on the trade block. Surprisingly, I felt like that was a great move for us, and I took him. So, of course, this is the team for the season. We ended up getting rid of... Um, we actually got rid of uh, Jairi Evans and Spiller, and we have Treader now at right guard. He plays pretty well over there, and um, there's not really too much different other than that. I think we have a few cornerbacks and wide receivers on our practice squad. Of course, the defense actually isn't looking as bad as we once thought. Those linebackers, a little rough. I kind of want to get uh, Anthony starting, so I really think I should try to get him in the starting lineup. And if you hear that sound, that's my dog chewing on something next to me. So I have no idea exactly what the slider is supposed to be, but I have everything on 120% except for the safeties. And then, of course, the kicker and punters are at 130. So, of course, I want to start simulating. So I wonder if we're going to hit that 7-9 and nine mark. We could make the playoffs. I don't see it perhaps in real life and I would assume we didn't as we've signed our practice squad guys I kind of want to see where we went though um, I assume we wouldn't um, just basically because we don't have the team but in real life when you got Drew Brees you never know but 5 10 and 1 kind of like we expected let's see where that ranks uh, what are our picks looking like so uh, just about all the teams you kind of expect to make it I expect the radar radars the Raiders to make it for sure Cardinals obviously uh, but for the most part, the teams that didn't make it, it makes sense. So we have the what? Wow, my math is bad. Six pick. Drewis Breeze, very solid year, I would assume. Oh, actually, a really, really poor year from Drew Breeze. Wow. All right. So 29 touchdowns, 23 interceptions. That's not good at all. Mark Ingram having a very solid year. He fumbled three times. Though. I'm not happy with that. But Carlos Williams having a much worse year, too. Um, but of course we'll give him another shot and even with such a really iffy year we had three receivers over a thousand yards and I'm surprised Michael Thomas was one of them as Sneed was number two and he had more catches so Michael Thomas proven that he's the uh, the bigger play guy and Taron Armstead one of the best in the league 11 sacks it's all right because it happens and uh, the pass rush was pretty solid this year as well what about the interceptions Jarius Bird 
Um, decent amount of picks considering the very bad secondary we have. The player of the year, uh, well, MVP anyways, most valuable player of the year. Uh, let's see if we did get anyone. And, of course, offensive player of the year, Russell Wilson. Decent defensive is Wagner. Elliott won rookie of the year. Do we have anyone? Michael Thomas actually did get decently. Um, no one there. We got Rankins at eight, um, who actually had a pretty poor year. I really expected him to do well, and he didn't really prove it to me. Um, not seeing anything here. Cowboys, Jesus freaking Christ. We did get the best D lineman, Cam Jordan. Actually, I, I kind of figured he could have, but I didn't really expect it. Well, that's at least it's something, and honestly, I'm surprised our kicker didn't make it on the list of best kickers he's actually really solid missed three field goals only that's really good so here we uh we still have the damn tips on but actually it doesn't matter here because uh it is a middle linebacker and we really do need one so i'm not certain that's gonna be the guy i'm definitely interested in middle linebackers and i don't know why i continue to scout him when he is rough a quarterback is in our future so maybe i should take a look because we don't know if next year we're gonna have a good pick so we might miss out on a quarterback we just need offensive firepower and no first round wide receivers this guy is really solid he's definitely on my radar we'll see what his combine numbers look like uh i guess a decent guy oh god garbage we got a 6-6 guy here early third round and he drops off really hard i don't think i'm gonna look for him Got another 6'6 six, six guy. We'll take a look at him a little bit later. Of course, Brady retires as he always does. We do get our trainer. And we do have some signings to do, I believe. Uh, nothing too big. Uh, okay, we do have Tim Lolito. Ooh, we actually have a lot of big signings. We have four big names that I have to keep. Kuhn, I think, is definitely going to be free agent. That should be good for him. Offer is perfect. Can't wait. No problem. Let's see if maybe uh, the per year is good enough to where he'll stay i know he won't but he could okay so he does stay with a really low signing bonus that should be good enough and okay great i'll be happy to sign you to this pal i don't think you're gonna take it okay that's fine i mean it's fine i we need wide receivers but i don't need sneed that bad we might re-sign him in for a uh, free agency anyways i would like to play for a new team what's the franchise tag looking 12 million well Gonna have to try to find somebody in the free agency. Super Bowl winner was Dallas, so uh, five point or a seven point lead. It's a pretty solid game. Looks like Dallas's defense. Oh no, not really. Yeah, it was their defense, I guess. E three points, which I believe puts us in the top. Eighty five points does get to remain with us, so I would assume that's a big aspect of it. I think we also did let Nick Fairley go. Nick Fairley's got some signs on him. Do we have any guys that are around his skill? I really don't want to pay the big man that kind of money. Lions are trying to get him back. Though. That's funny. You got to get him back, though. He's a big part of it. We'll keep him there. It's all right. We don't necessarily need him. Let's go to the next stage. So, of course, we got rejected by both of them. Now, while I say uh, Nick Fairley was a decent player, uh, expectation for him to not remain on the team i was really shocked by sneed um, we are of course kind of forced here to try and uh pick up a wide receiver so we do now have our combine grades the middle linebacker is not terribly great solid he's an early second rounder and a four five three which is actually really good for a six four guy so i think we definitely will be looking to draft him especially with the loss of sneed we did end up getting a fullback. Uh, we signed him to a three-year. He's an 80 overall. He's actually not bad at all. So I'm actually glad we did get him. So we got a replacement for Kuhn that's even better. Okay, we got a little man here, Jason Melvin. He could slowly develop as a uh, potential guy. I don't... $2 million and none of it's guaranteed. And, of course, we didn't get Charles Johnson. I gave him a really low ball deal and the Vikings last second. Did decide to try and get him back. So we were able to trade down to the Colts. We pick up their second round and their 22nd pick, which hopefully allows us to get our wide receiver. And, of course, we want to see what they get. always like to see what somebody traded up for. Of course, I don't think they were looking to trade up, but they did because we forced them. Of course, we're going to take our guy, Lyndon Taylor, and he's normal development trade. But he did was projected to go number 12. He's a 78 overall. 
Very good, actually. He's got 94 acceleration along with insane catching stats. Great selection for us and uh, looks to uh, take the load off of Brandon Cooks. We're going to take a shot in the dark with this guy and he was supposed to go number three. I went shot in the dark because he skipped the combine, which is a very big thing for me. And we really needed linemen, but we just didn't get enough scouting done. And with a lot of accumulation of picks, I figured worst comes to worst, it's just a bad pick. This turned out to be a really solid pick, though, as he was supposed to go number three. And I believe it, as he actually did have some pretty uh, comparable numbers or potentials. But I'm going to take him. I think he's all right. He's supposed to go number 45. We took him at 65. That's 20 back. 74 overall, but with quick development trade, he has the ability to uh, become a starter for us of course I believe he is there so we are going to take him with this pick hopefully he turns out all right I didn't get to scout him um, ran out of points but with those credentials he's got to be worth it and he wasn't so we hit a complete bust hopefully he's at least around a 70 can he be around a 70 superstar of element right stats are a little iffy but they're actually you know they're actually not too bad he's got 85 speed this guy might be the quarterback of the future and of course i don't expect too much from this guy but with that speed i'm going to take him normal development trade he was actually projected to go in the third round so uh, a little bit of a dree archer type if you guys can hit 100 likes we'll do another history redo rebuild this week it's been kind of rough to uh create the players for that but your guys' support what keeps me going of course first thing is first let's go to free agency and of course i'm not seeing next i'm seeing next to nothing here so i think we are going to take a try at they're both very good but i think we're going to go with kirksey here let's see if we can try to get him with you know low draft pick so we have that should finish her up and it does so we have a decent middle linebacker now so i know it's a little rough to spend this kind of trade value or these draft picks but breland from the redskins for zach streif second round in a seventh round i seen the um the i think it was the chiefs were actually able to trade for bradley roby uh which is kind of crazy so do we have the reach for next year so we go with two fifth rounds and jerry's bird for jelani jenkins and we do get earl mitchell i didn't want him but their uh cap situation's a little messed up because of the whole sue thing damn this is a really rough uh, spot for us i didn't really look at it but drew Brees is 38 years old and i know the smart thing here would be to put melvin in but I'm trying to make this realistic, and I don't see the Saints ever benching Drew Brees. Like, they're going to let him play it out until he wants to retire. It's rough because I know the franchise heart in me wants to get rid of him so bad. I know he's not the greatest player in the league anymore, but Dante Whitner for 1.7 isn't the worst thing that can happen to this team. So I think we are going to sign him for depth. So, of course, we now have our starting lineup. Drew Brees is looking like he is most likely going to be out the door this season whether it be by free agency or retirement he's 38 and he's regressing um and of course uh ever since a decent old line i'm glad we got crocker he's very huge for us jc treader is a huge move to right guard everything else is the same tight ends the same the uh young tight ends we got or the wide receivers we got the young wide receivers hopefully they can do something big for us and of course on defense not too much changes for the better but uh jelani jenkins as an 83 overall right out that's really helpful um von bell 73 overall free safety so he's a bit of a drop off from bird but a lot cheaper breeland a huge upgrade for cornerback we got the free agency corner that we got he's going to be there as well whitner playing backup free say or strong safety and of course if he has to he will go back up free as well i don't think we did necessarily enough to make the playoffs but i think there's definitely for sure this time a seven to nine team uh, we're getting better uh, the only thing that's really getting worse is Drew Brees, and uh, he had a really bad season last season. So, of course, we are almost there. 7-9 is very doable. The question is, do we want to go 7-9? We have a pretty solid team. Of course, we did not make the playoffs, uh, and he'll be able, and now he'll be able to put the NFC's Offensive MVP award. Oh, so he did get an Offensive MVP. Ironically, he looks like he's going to retire, but yet he did very well. So, 9-7. So we're on the right track. The problem with this is Drew Brees probably isn't going to be here for a much longer. And I keep goddamn clicking the wrong thing every time. And uh, look like uh, one of the Steelers players is MVP. And that's the kind of year I expect from Drew Brees, who is 38 now. But that's a really solid year. 
And uh, Melvin got in there for a touchdown. Not bad on his own running. Okay, let's go to rushing. Uh, Mark Ingram having a slightly better year than last year. Um, Williams going down a little bit in um, fumbles, so that's nice to see. Uh, receiving, we got two receivers in the 1,000-yard mark. And I'm really disappointed in the rookies. The two rookies completely blew it. And uh, ever since they joined the lineup, Michael Thomas went from 1,000 yards to 100. So very confusing there as um, I just don't see it. I really don't know why they went down, but it is what it is. Taron Armstead playing not the greatest. Uh, Crocker having a really solid offensive year, offensive lineman year. Kirksey picking up kind of where um, Lauren I is left off. Uh, and then some very well uh, played season for him. Breland played pretty well. And of course, the pass rush wanted Cameron Jordan to do better. But of course, Paul Kruger gets 16 and a half. And Sheldon Rankins has a uh, better year this year. Uh, the rookie uh, Donovan Hill also did very decently. Kicker Lutz, very terrible season. We're definitely going to be looking to replace him now. As uh, I don't care how good your first season is, man. It really, when you're young and you're not progressing... Yeah, you, you gotta either consi play consistent or you're gonna get kicked out of the team. It's it's a rough business, but that's the way it is. And of course, um, Drew Brees, eighth. I'm a little confused by that, but uh, they get offensive player of the year. That's nice. Defensive player of the year, we did have Kirksey at seventh, which is pretty decent. Offensive rookie of the year, Nate Lynn. And of course, if McMullen wasn't garbage, he would have had himself a uh, easy award. And is that? I thought it was both. Of the same team and defensive. We didn't really have someone, if I'm not mistaken, best quarterback, Drew Brees. That's huge. Mark Ingram does make the third this time. Not bad. Cooks is sixth. Offensive lineman, Taron Armstead, was fifth. Uh, best D lineman, Kruger, was fourth. But nowhere to be seen is Cameron Jordan. Kirksey, number six for linebacker. DB, we don't have anyone on the list, if I'm not mistaken. And best kicker, of course, we're nowhere near. And, of course, Crosby gets there. But 7-8-1, that's kind of surprising. Offensive yardage, fifth in the NFL. Defensive, 13th. So how did we not make the playoffs? I'll never know. Let's take a look. I mean, of course, the Panthers, they're taking the division. But a lot of talent in the NFC. And, of course, we come away with one, two, three. We missed it by one spot. So that's still impressive. I should have waited to show you guys the stuff. Oh, we got ourselves a running back. Number one overall. I know... He's early and we don't need him, but I do want to scout him just for the hell of it. And he looks solid. And uh, we have some cornerbacks. Let's take a look. I mean, he's got potential, which is more than we could say about last year's cornerbacks for sure. And this guy's not bad at all. I want to find some guys that aren't super high in the first round, though. Of course, we're seeing a lot better talent this year than we are, were last year at cornerback. Of course, we have Drew Brees to resign. I'm assuming he's going to want a one-year that's a $21 million deal for that man. And, of course, we actually have a lot of players to re-sign. After the year that uh, Kirksey had, he's going to have to get a re-sign. Um, we have a lot of money. And Kirksey's a quick development trade. I honestly did not know that. Gained it there. I think you can do that this year. I honestly don't know why I signed him so low. Luckily, he re-signed because that was a huge mistake by me. The cap or the, um, the franchise tag for that would have been absolutely insane. And he appears... At least, um, oh, so he's going to play for another team. Well, screw you. What's the franchise tag looking like? 11.9. And he is going to sign. So I'm a little hesitant about Cooks. We obviously will tag him if we have to. But um, I really want Cooks back for sure. And he's going to test free agency. All right, you slut. I don't want to let Breeze go, but I think I'm going to have to let him go. That should be enough. And he's glad the deal got done. I'll negotiate Breeze, but I'm really not looking to give him much. Oh, he's not looking for a... Oh, he's looking for $21 million a year. I'll give him 14 and that's it. Like, I can't do any more for you. It's all right, bro. I don't know why he said the long run. There's no point. I'm just going to be paying the guy so much money to potentially make the playoffs, but it's going to be an unfortunate uh, Drew Brees situation. We could sign him here. I don't know what he's looking at for money, but we'll see. Of course, you got Mike Evans in free agency, uh, Jonathan Joseph. So we got some big names here. Derek Carr has hit free agency, everyone. The problem is, though, this isn't really a realistic move. I don't see the Raiders letting Derek Carr fall. 
We offer him a little bit of extra money. He should be looking to re-sign with us, though. So, of course, we have our three negotiations, and we are the top bidder for all three. But, of course, that doesn't mean we're going to get them. Maybe Mike Evans isn't worth grabbing? Yeah, I think we're going to withdraw that. We don't need Mike Evans at all. So, we did get our cornerbacks back. We almost lost them, but we, we held in tight, and we got them. So, let's see. Uh, Mike Evans did sign, actually, which is kind of surprising. Goes with the Bills, so we would have definitely had him if we wanted him. And uh, who signed uh, Derek Carr? It was the Browns. So the Browns actually got their quarterback. And Star Luda Lele, I think we actually pulled our offer on him, which is kind of sucky. Some sort of coverage guy. Oh, this guy's looking solid. Late first rounder, too, man. This is looking like this is our year. Of course, we have a rough quarterback. I think 2019 is the year we make the playoffs. Maybe even the Super Bowl. We'll see. So the Chiefs actually did win the Super Bowl. I've seen it. They dominated. They had five sacks. And, of course, we are going to start the draft. And we really need a cornerback. I believe there is a top talent corner. Um, our pick is going to be really bad, maybe even in the 20 range. Um, 19, so that's not great, but it is all right. His stats aren't insane, but with that 40 time, even if he's not great, he could still develop. And uh, what about this guy? He's actually not bad either, though. Broncos taking Leggett, and that's really rough. Um, there is another cornerback. Do we go for him? I don't know if it's even worth it, and I believe they just took him anyways. Oh, wait, they did, but this guy's even better. So let's try to get to, like, seven. I could easily trade up for seven. Seven's not that bad. Oh, this is so risky, man. This is definitely a cornerback draft. Oh, sh Okay, I mean, lucky he didn't take him. Would that do it? And it does. So we move... Two third rounds and a first round for a eighth pick overall, and we are going to take a cornerback here. Doesn't look absolutely great. His his strength is garbage. Um, his jumping is kind of garbage too, which is kind of confusing, but he's got really good speed, and he's got decent stats, so we are going to take him. Superstar development trade. He was supposed to go two picks behind us. Solid, solid pick. I'm honestly a little worried to go to 19 because it's a late round. Do we not just go... I was about to say, do we not just go there and we miss him? Messed up absolutely huge with that pick. We don't even need our draft picks. Why didn't I just take him there? I'm so bummed. I, I don't think you guys understand. Zach Dial, man. I don't know why I didn't just trade up for him. I It said late first. I don't, I don't know when a 14 pick looks like late. His name is Faggins. Come on now, really? Really, EA? You're really going to do him like that? Nick Faggins? Like, it makes Jerry Folsom look like he got out with the nice name. You would automatically be drafted no later than third. He's a 66 overall. He's practically garbage. But if you're actually playing in a legit league, that's a guy you would be very happy with, actually. Looks actually really solid, though. Like, I can't believe how fast he is. Normal development trade. He's supposed to go two rounds ago. Another guy that probably don't do anything for us in you know rebuilding simulation so the first thing we have to do and it kills me to say it I have to go check out the Cowboys middle linebacker it's so rough it's so rough oh I thought he was an 86 overall holy crap still though an 81 overall 90 excel 83 speed oh, oh my god oh my lord why did I even look like his overall might not be as good as um, Jalen, and that's mainly because of his awareness and stuff, but you compare the two, and it's not even close. So we are most likely trading Craig Robinson here, and it's actually not a bad deal because uh, we don't really need him, and man, do we have a lot of third-rounders. Holy crap. We should be able to pull this off right here, and we do. Shaq Thompson uh, for our Paul Kruger, who we do actually need to replace. Oh, we have Kakaha. Uh, Craig Robertson and a third round very realistic they actually have um, the guy I was actually going to trade for but then I realized Shaq Thompson was on their team where is he uh, Shaquille Barrett I believe they got him in trade from the Broncos Broncos seem to be making a lot of trades man they got some cornerback issues of course we do here offer a third round for Dak Prescott who I think will be looking for a contract very soon and, of course, you could tell we did not make it again. And I am really sick of this practice squad signing stuff. I'm not exactly sure why that is. It is 2018. We're in negative funds again. Let's see how our rookie quarterback did. He actually didn't do too bad for yardage. Um, had a real Drew Brees first season type deal. Um, not too bad, honestly. 
for a rookie. I would assume he did get Offensive Rookie of the Year. Mark Ingram barely getting his yardage. Uh, Melvin getting a decent bit of rushing yards. Cooks with over 1,000. McMullen almost 1,000. Taylor just a bust. Like He's so good of a player, but he just doesn't perform. I don't know how. He just doesn't. Uh, the O-line performing extremely well. Um, Jelani Jenkins having a pretty career year. Uh, Devlin actually did pretty decently. What about Sacks? 13 and a half. Kahaha did all right. Sheldon Rankins, another down year. Hauschka played poorly. Man, this team is falling apart. Second season in, I thought we were on the, the high rise, but man, it's starting to fall apart. And I really don't want to, I really don't care about the awards too much, but we'll quickly look through them. MVP, Coach of the Year, Rex Ryan. Uh, did we get Offensive Rookie of the Year? Of course we didn't. Okay, so we weren't even considered. That makes plenty of sense. Our def our cornerback got the defensive one. Makes sense at least. Best quarterback. Of course, we're not on there. We aren't even on Offensive Rookie of the Year. Why would it be on there? I'm just going to quickly go through. Best DB. I really thought we were shooing there for Rookie of the Year or Offensive Rookie of the Year. I think I tried too hard to uh, make this quote-unquote realistic. I should have went with Derek Carr, but I just didn't feel like it was a realistic move since there's no way in hell that they would let Derek Carr go. And, of course, he goes to an 89 overall first season. Solid player there. Of course, now he's actually he's rather decent. Uh, 78 overall isn't bad for a starting quarterback. He's 35? Holy shit, Delaney. Delaney, my boy. 82 points, that's a pretty solid offer. Damn, Richard Sherman, you about to retire too, bro? Holy shit. I didn't show you guys the Super Bowl, but this is a really insane Super Bowl. Uh, the Patriots win 34 to 31. So uh, Tom Brady doesn't get his next ring, as I don't even know who the hell's co quarterbacking that team. We have the fifth pick overall, and I don't even know who's the best player to take. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, Zach Nash, solid quarterback. We don't need him, though. Our guy's developing. Cornerback? Uh, no. Left out. Holy shit, dude. Hillman is a beast. Dak Prescott? Is that good? Great free agency trade earlier. Whatever, not free agency trade, offseason trade. As we do move up to number one to select the pass rusher. Completely okay. I mean, I guess he's not insane. I mean, stats are pretty good. He's got normal development trade, and he was supposed to go 24, though. Normal development trade, and we took him one pick early. Not nearly as good as Dial at all, but he's, he's all right. We are now negative $16 million worth of funds. Absolutely insane. And uh, the team, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, we definitely have potential. Cooks is a 92 overall. We have finally some decent receivers. This team is definitely turning around for sure. But uh, I will be cut from the team after this season. And uh, like I said, I mean, this team is definitely getting better. We got young safeties, decent safeties too. Uh, the middle linebacker position's somewhat filled. These two guys are really solid. Jelani Jenkins definitely looks like the guy of the future. Left out's an issue. Left end's fine. DTs are getting there. They're actually almost perfect. And then Hillman is the left end or right end for the future. So, I mean, if I got this team to two years from now, I think they definitely would be good. But overall, unless this is the season we do beastly, I am going to consider this a failed rebuild. It is quote unquote a realistic one. And I did hold back a few uh, things because I didn't believe that it was realistic. But another thing I just didn't understand, I did not get it, is why was the offense so weird like we had the receivers and just it just didn't make any sense to me like how one year we had three receivers with a thousand each when the quarterback threw for like four thousand and then we had a year where the quarterback threw for 4600 and we only had one thousand receiver it, it just didn't make any sense there was no consistency there at all we got an achievement julio jones legacy award surpass a legacy score of 2150 i don't know how we did we didn't even make the playoffs, I don't think. We were 9-7, and seven, so we actually turned this goddamn ship around a little bit. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Uh, Melvin had a bit better of a year rushing. Melvin Gordon, speaking of Melvin, did very solidly. And once again, another question mark at wide receiver. Like, 
Lyndon Taylor. Like, he is honestly one of the better receivers I've ever seen and just absolute garbage. I don't know what it is. And our offensive line played well. This is one of the best offensive lines I've ever seen. Unger, no sacks allowed. Treader, one sack. Tim Lolito, four. Armstead and Crocker combined for 14 each. How many sacks did we give up overall as a team? Five, like 22? Come on now, EA. We deserve better than that. And uh, Breland had a really damn good season. Of course, Devlin, uh, very good. He's actually a really good cornerback. I'm really surprised by him. Hillman had a really good year. Cam Jordan, 18 sacks. And uh, linebackers actually did really well. Here it is. We went into this, uh, this NFL business looking to make some money. We were looking to... To turn a franchise around, rally behind the Saudi City, rally behind us once again, like they did when uh, Katrina hit. But of course, not only did we not take this team to the playoffs and win, but we also lost sixty million dollars. I'm now going to have to live on the street. Um, it was a fun experience. Definitely not gonna say that it was worth losing my Lamborghini and um, two BMWs for, but. It's a valuable lesson, and that lesson is uh, realistic rebuilds fucking suck. Okay, I'm I'm just kidding, but let me know what you guys actually did think, like legit of this series. God, I can't believe I said legit. Um, not this series, this video. Uh, do you want to see more realistic rebuilds? Maybe with the sliders changed a little bit. Um, I would assume that I would redo the Saints at some point in the future. So sorry, faint Saint faint Saints. Saints fans, as uh, there was actually quite a bit of you that said that I should be, uh, I should rebuild these Saints. If you guys can get this video to, I don't know, like a hundred likes uh, by like Friday or something, I will be bringing the uh, history redo. Uh, hopefully this weekend, the player just doesn't come up sometimes. Let me know if you know how to fix that. Like what I do is I literally create the player and then click save to the file, the roster that I have set. And it won't be there. And sometimes I have to save the player three or four times. And even then they don't show up. Or sometimes a double of them will show up. So it's really inconsistent. It's definitely a glitch. I try to talk to EA about it. But they weren't having any of it. Let me know if you know how to fix that. Or what I'm doing wrong. Because obviously people create rosters. Do they actually create the players? Or do they just edit other players? Um, but hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you are new to the channel. Maybe subscribe and like. I try to bring at least one rebuild a week. And then lots of gameplay and other stuff. Expect a lot of NBA to come up on the channel too. I'm going to try to upload Madden just as consistently as I have while also bringing NBA. So hopefully you guys enjoy that and um, should expect the last prelude game. I have like, I think there's an Olympic game. So uh, I'll probably upload that late tomorrow night or tonight perhaps. Uh, but hopefully you guys do come back for next video. But until next video... See ya! What is going on guys? We are back with another rebuild and you can see we are the Philadelphia Eagles. What is going on guys? We are finally back with more fantasy franchise on Madden 17.